Do you know everything there is to know about your tires? Today's episode, we're gonna wrap our head around the tread. We all know we should check our tires for proper wear, nails, inflation, uh, warping, belt separation, tubes, things like that before we go on a ride. It's also part of our T-clocks. Did you know that there was more to it than this? Like when you go to buy a tire, choosing the right tire for the terrain you're gonna be riding on. If you're gonna be riding on the dirt, asphalt, concrete, gravel, rocks, you know, wherever you're gonna ride, you're gonna make sure you pick the right tire. Do you know what the numbers on the side of the tire mean? You probably know a few of them. Like, the you got the height, the width of the wheel, and indications on what the maximum weight and the maximum speed are for the tire that it's rated at. So, you know, when you're going down the road, the tread doesn't fall off and, you know, become a statistic for one of the Darwin Awards, you know, like this guy. I'm not talking about, when I talk about maximum weight, I'm not talking about the maximum weight that your bike can carry. That's a different number. What you should include when you're considering the maximum weight for the tire is the wet weight of your bike, plus you on it, plus your luggage. Now there's gonna be different numbers on there for both the front tire and the rear tire. If your tires don't match in size, you know, like you have an American bike or a Harley, or you know, one of those Orange County choppers. It's something to can take into consideration when you're thinking about weight distribution, whether you're putting more weight on the back or the front of your bike. Now, the maximum speed is indicated by the letter that's next to the number. And then we're talking about the metric tire system here. For instance, the letter J would indicate that you can go about 62 miles per hour maximum. And the letter Z would indicate 150 miles an hour or greater. Most, if not all, tires follow this system. There's also a letter on there for the tube designation, whether the tire holds air itself or you have to put a tube inside the tire to hold the air. Um, other markings are the construction of the tire, like is it belted or is it radial or is it bias ply? Now, bias ply tires are like the kind of tires you put on your dirt bike. They're not normally street tires or off-road tires for, you know, a Harley or an Indian or yeah, you know, normal street bike. What does all this mean? It means that you can rest assured that you're buying the right tire for your bike and the types of conditions that you're going to be riding it in. Also, the guy at the tire shop is going to be kind of impressed when you know all the numbers and all of the information about your tire. Not that you want, you know, just a big fat tire on the back or, hey dude, make me a dark sider. You know, the guys who put the car tires on their motorcycles because they think it's cool and they last longer. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode or at least learned something from it. Please like and subscribe. Leave a message in the comments on what you think I should do next. And as always, keep the rubber side down and wear your masks. In today's episode, we're gonna wrap our head around the thread, tread. Today's episode, we're going to wrap our head around the tread. That's a tongue twister.